In January 4th, 2021, I saw troubling visions that quite honestly to date caused me to lose sleep. In a prophetic word titled Nine Years Left, which was viewed almost 200,000 times on YouTube, the Lord showed me that the clock had changed and that He had changed it. This was no longer a count up, but a countdown, and that things would happen so fast. Many people wrongly assumed that I was predicting the return of Christ, which I emphatically stated to the contrary throughout the prophecy knowing that not even Jesus himself knows when Jesus is coming back. I felt it important to stress that what God was speaking about was not a return of Christ, but a countdown judgment for our actions in 2020 that were not pleasing to him, namely calling what is good evil and what is evil good. What was amazing to many of you, our viewers, and myself included, were the immediate confirmations of words happening so fast that it had already come to pass since that word was released. Number one, the new crisis, the climate. Number two, the Luxembourg biotech factory. Number three, nine years left. That was voiced later by world leaders all over the world. Number four, a new genetic race to compete with China over DNA hacking. Number five, a divided state of America and so many more things. Now we're at the cusp of a new prophetic word that the Lord particularly told me to watch over. In case you don't remember, here's a brief snippet of what the Lord said concerning Israel and Benjamin Netanyahu in 2021. Number 15, a changing of the God in Israel and Iran intensified. Pray for Israel, says the Lord. Pray for her, for all her allies will shrink back and the guard that was holding her will retreat. For a betrayal is on the horizon, a changing of the God is at hand. Netanyahu shall be shaken, and there will be those who will push for it in the name of secularism. But if my church will pray, I will roar as a lion. Now take a look at today's papers. New plans to oust Benjamin Netanyahu, unity government to oust Netanyahu. All over the world papers are reporting what the Lord already said at the beginning of this year. I believe this is a critical time to speak what the Lord has for us as we see these things now coming to pass to help us partner with the Lord with the outcome. The Lord says, I will still bless those who bless Israel, and I will still curse those who curse Israel. Watch as I make Israel a sign and a wonder again in the earth, says the Lord. Watch as I show nations how I affect their governments based on how they treat my nation. Watch as the stars on the flags of her allies begin to shake as I allow the spirit of hatred to even emanate out of the church. Many in my bride will say, Palestine belongs the birthright and Israel is the oppressor. Even many leaders in African American communities will ally themselves with Palestine and show disfavor to those who are favored. But I, says the Lord, will arise on her behalf as a mighty one. And if you will pray for mercy, I will allow the shaking, but a holding of the figs to the fig tree. If you will not, says the Lord, you will see the vacuum filled by a two-headed monster that shall neglect my vineyard and her inheritance. For this shall be a year of the valley of decision, says the Lord, and your decisions shall affect the world. For a bomb is ticking, but its impact shall be global. Remember this that the Lord said next. Bride, this is the time of your awakening. This is the time, says God, to redeem for I desired to give you more time, but now the reset has come and the clock is counting down. Many will say, it is counting down to my return. I will say, it is counting down to a new ecclesia arising. Western world, your guard has now changed. It's now time of the ecclesia arising. It is now the time of those who have sat in the caves of Adalam as disenfranchised army to rise up and represent me in the mountains. For I will call for a sign as the fig tree ripens and its figs look like they may drop off. Then revival will be heard alongside the sound of war. An awakening will be heard alongside the sound of weeping. And hatred will be heard alongside 
the sound of love and power for one will no longer be a precursor to another but both will rise simultaneously says the Lord thank you for watching don't forget to comment share and subscribe get rigged